for some of you to come on here. <clears throat> There's always a delay with Facebook Live, but anyway, man, I love this shirt. I got this shirt from Hancock when I was there a couple weeks ago. <clears throat> okay, so here's the deal. Um, we have a couple clients that are right on the borderline of qualifying, and they're right, they're really tight as far as a debt to income ratio. For you people not in the mortgage world or real estate world, um, debt to income is the amount of debt per month compared to your income divided by your income comes out of ratio. So they're, they're, they're right on the border there. So, um, a lot of times people think, Hey, I'm putting down, you know, you know, instead of putting down 20%, I'll put 25% down. Okay. You know, I actually have a client right now that's putting down uh, about 22 and a half percent right now. And it's still DTI is still a little bit high here. So we're putting more money down. Doesn't help. Uh, doesn't give you the most bang for your buck is this kind of situation. So what, kind of what you want to do is look at the liabilities, okay, and see what they're paying out per month and see what gives you the, the biggest bang for your buck, okay? So for an example, on this one, if they pay off, uh, I think it's uh, like a car loan or something like that, a car loan, that car loan is about two thirty two dollars a month, okay? And that car loan is only about $4,000 left on it. So that is actually going to be less than putting an extra 5% down, okay, first thing. Second thing is, is that the debt to income ratio drops to the low 40% range, okay. So it really helps them qualify. So when you hear people say, hey, you know, I'll, I'll put some more money down, you know, a lot of times that doesn't uh, affect it too much, affect your debt, you know, your debt to income ratio too much. This one only affects about a point and a half percent. So by taking that extra money and applying it towards a liability, it gives them more bang for the buck. I've actually had clients where we had to reduce what they've been paying down, okay? So instead of paying down, let's say, 15%, they're only going to be putting down 5%, but take that extra 10% and pay off some, some debt, and that's actually helped them qualify more. So it's not just putting down more and more and more money because you get less bang for your buck that way as far as your debt to income ratios. A lot of times what you have to do is look at the full picture and, hey, let's knock off this, let's knock off this, this, and this. And by knocking off that, it makes them qualify easier. So uh, just a little tip here, just a little try to, you know, this is all a puzzle. Try to constantly put a puzzle together and, and kind of look at the file and don't just, you know, just ramble on and say, hey, let's do 10 or 20 or 30% down. Sometimes putting less down and taking that extra money and applying it towards your liabilities is going to really give you a bigger bang for your buck. So hopefully that helps. Uh, I need to go take a shower, man, because I stink and I just got done with a workout. Have a great Monday. Talk to you soon. Bye.